Hi, I'm Mary Haugen, a biologist and product developer with Carolina Biological Supply Company. Today, I'll discuss receiving and handling the parasitic wasp, Melotobia digitata, or the wild bug, an easy-to-use insect for life science studies in the middle school classroom. Wild bugs are easily cultured. They take up very little space in the classroom, and even though they possess a stinger, they are incapable of stinging humans. I'll be using Carolina's FlexCam and the Wolf Stereo Microscope to show the wild bugs. Three to four adult wild bugs have been added and will lay their eggs upon the blowfly pupae. I'll be using a wild bug observation chamber with three blowfly pupae, with one end removed exposing the blowfly pupating within. When you receive your wild bugs, they may be in various stages of development. If you receive your wild bugs and only three or four adults are visible, you are viewing the females that laid eggs on the blowfly pupa. The wild bug larvae will grow and develop within the blowfly pupa. In this case, set your culture aside and check daily for any change. The next stage you'll observe is the wild bug pupae spilling from the opening of the blowfly pupa. Alternatively, if you receive your wild bug culture and the opening of the blowfly pupa have what look like tiny white grains spilling from them, your wild bugs have reached the pupa stage. The three or four adults within the case are not new adults. They are the adults that lay the eggs. They will most likely die before or soon after the new adult wild bugs emerge. The tiny pupae will begin to darken as they develop into adults. This should take four to seven days at room temperature. The adult wild bugs do not need to be fed and can live for seven to 14 days. The adult male and female wild bugs are very distinct in appearance. The females have normal looking wings, eyes, and antennae. The males have greatly reduced wings, lack functional eyes, and have antler-like antennae. Wild bugs are easily moved using a plastic bristled paintbrush or the nap from a pipe cleaner. Students can observe their movements from hopping, crawling, and playing possum. If some wild bugs escape, simply place a lid over top of them as they will climb up the inside of the lid. Once they are on the lid, remove the lid and place it on the container to corral them. Since wild bugs occur so widely in nature, you don't have to worry about introducing an alien insect to your local environment if some should escape in your classroom. Visit carolina.com slash wildbugs to see our wildbug products as well as many other exciting insects and organisms for your classroom.